guys, it's Sam and this is my spoiler free review of The Darkest Magic by Morgan Rhodes. This book is the second book in the A Book of Spirits and Thieves trilogy, which is a spin-off trilogy to the Fallen Kingdom series. So I'm a huge fan of the Fallen Kingdom series, I talk about it a lot here on my channel, and this being the companion series when the first book came out, I was pretty excited about it and I liked the first book when it first came out and I had a lot of hope for it, but I found that when I started to read this book I had forgot almost everything that happened in the first book. There was a few key events that I remember like three things. I knew the characters' names, I knew the like power players, but I didn't remember a lot of the events of it and so that already left me feeling kind of like how much did I really end up liking the first book when I read this book and wasn't as invested. I still love Fallen Kingdoms and I love what this series kind of adds to that, but we'll get into that kind of. First I want to talk about the world building. This series does take place about a thousand years before the Fallen Kingdom series in Medica. So I, I believe, if I'm getting my timeline correctly. So I do really love all the world building we're getting for how the world is in this time period and how Medica is and how the events that we hear about in Fallen Kingdoms as the origin story for Medica, like how things are similar and different and stuff, that is what I love most about this series, honestly. I love all of the tidbits and Easter eggs and stuff that we get for the Fallen Kingdom series and things we've been hearing about in the Fallen Kingdom series for all of the books and what their religion is based off and just all the beliefs and stuff and all the things that are happening in Fallen Kingdoms and how this kind of affects that. I really enjoy that element of it and learning more about Mitika and Mitika's history. That's really cool. Next I want to talk about our characters and again in the first book I kind of had hope for a lot of these characters and I think I lost a lot of that in this book. I don't hate the characters and I don't love them. I feel very neutral on the majority of them. I'm just not connected to them like I am with Fallen Kingdoms. Fallen Kingdoms, those characters are my children, my sweet, sweet babies, and I love every one of them and I hate to love some of them, but with this series I don't feel passionately about anybody. I don't hate the villains really, I don't really care, I don't care about the main characters really at all, and again I had a lot of hope for them with the first book. And with this book I just felt like I just didn't care and you're supposed to probably be more attached to them by book two and I just don't care. There's ones that I like a little more than others but overall just I feel they're very mediocre in comparison to the Fallen Kingdoms babies that I love so much. So honestly at this point I feel like these characters are just plot devices for me to move the story forward and to show me the history of Medica to really help with the Fallen Kingdom's backstory. But as far as their own story and their own lives, I don't care about that really. So that is disappointing because like I said, I'm so invested with the Fallen Kingdom's characters and the ships and stuff. There's so many ships happening in the Fallen Kingdom's world. And there are ships in here as well and I could not care less about any of the developments with them. Do not care whatsoever. I just find these characters very flat and just kind of archetypal and there's characters that I even feel like are similar to the characters in the Fallen Kingdom story but I just feel like they're knockoffs of the Fallen Kingdom's characters so again I'm not attached to them. As far as the plot I do find Morgan Rhodes's books to always be very fast-paced, very easy to read, you can pick it up and get through it very quickly. I had a long weekend where I wasn't reading a ton and I felt like I was reading this book really slowly but as soon as I actually got to pick it up I was flying through it and I finished about in two days. So even though like I said I'm not attached to the characters, I don't really care about a lot of the things that are going on, I'm still able to read it very quickly and it is very fast paced and there is stuff constantly going on. So again I didn't feel very passionately for the positive or negative, I felt very neutral with this book. So with all that being said, I do enjoy this series like I said for the backstory that we're getting with Falling Kingdoms. I do like hearing about all that stuff and about how the world is formed and if any of that will impact Fallen Kingdom stuff and if there'll be any kind of crossover. Obviously it's taking place in different timelines so I don't think there's gonna be direct crossover with the characters meeting or anything like that, but I'm wondering if there will be things that happen in here that do impact that story. We will see because stuff is kind of mentioned and stuff. So we'll see if that happens, but ultimately I do not feel that this series really stands on its own. It's definitely a companion that should be read after the Fallen Kingdom series or alongside. Definitely in publication order is what I recommend obviously because I don't know if the third book will have any kind of like spoilers for Fallen Kingdoms or anything like that or any kind of crossover, but ultimately I'm reading this series just because I love Fallen Kingdom so much and I don't feel like the story itself stands on its own, but I do like the little bits that we do get of Fallen Kingdom stuff and Fallen Kingdom's hints and stuff. So that being said, I gave this about 2.5 to 3 stars. It's a neutral book by on its own, but I do enjoy those elements that I'm getting of Fallen Kingdom's backstory and I'll continue to read the series to get those little tidbits because I love Fallen Kingdom so much. So comment down below and let me know what you thought of The Darkest Magic. Thank you all for watching and I'll see all of you guys soon. Bye!